Hello, welcome to Foster Family Fun. I'm LaToya. I'm out and about again today. I'm headed into the Asian market in our area to see what it's all about. It's my first time coming here. It's called Far East Asian Market. And what I'm really coming in here to get is to see if they have like good seafood, shrimp, crabs, maybe crawfish. I'm headed into Han Hung Asian Market. This is my first time going into this market, so we are going to be checking it out together. So we are checking out and we only got a few items down here in the basket. We got uh, two packages of frozen goat meat. We got some lobster balls and then we got about what, five pounds of shrimp? Yes. Yep. That is what we ended up getting from the Asian market. We are back from the Asian market. The first Asian market that we went to was kind of a bust. The Far East Madison, it was very small. It didn't have what we were looking for. So the second Asian market, which you guys saw me walking around, had some beautiful, beautiful seafood. And they had some super large shrimp. I mean, this is what the shrimp looks like with the head off, and it is really big. And here's the shrimp with the head on. And of course, we have uh, we have about four pounds of shrimp here and all of the ingredients that you see that we have right here we're getting ready to have a shrimp boil and we're going to do a shrimp boil right inside the house so you don't need any type of special equipment or special types of pots to do it outside we're going to do it right here in the house and everything that we have right here is all of the ingredients that we're using for the shrimp boil so of course we have the shrimp we have a chopped up, one chopped up bell pepper, one chopped up lemon, one chopped up onion. We're going to be putting some mini uh, red potatoes in there. And in the back back here, we have some delicious sausages that we have chopped up. And we are going to be putting corn in it as well. And we have our crawfish and shrimp and crab boil here that we're going to be using and this is the crab boil that's in a bag and we also have our liquid concentrated shrimp and crab boil we'll be using that and we have obey seasoning a stick of butter and some lemon juice and of course garlic powder salt and pepper and my mom is here with me in the kitchen and she is pretty much going to be hooking up this whole shrimp boil here which I know is going to be good because my mama is cooking it so I am ready to bring you guys along with us and show you how we boil up a, some shrimp for a shrimp boil and this is the pot that we're using we're just using a regular pasta pot so this is something that we already have in the house most everybody has a large size uh, noodle pot and we aren't using anything else special. Just this pot right here for our shrimp boil. We have our pot pretty much halfway full with water and we are just starting to boil it up now. It's not come at a high boil yet, but while it's boiling, we're gonna go ahead on and add our ingredients in so we can season up our water. And the first thing that we're adding is our crawfish and shrimp crab boil in a bag. So we put that in there in the pot, and then we are adding a little bit of liquid crab boil about a half a bottle of that next we're adding our Old Bay about three or four tablespoons of that we're going to add in our pepper put in some garlic powder and some salt
and a few squirts of lemon juice and one whole stick of butter and that's salted butter and then our secret ingredient that we're adding into our crab boil. Can you guys see it? Yes, that is our secret ingredient. We're adding in ketchup. About three tablespoons of ketchup. And I know that might sound crazy, but this is going to give the boil the flavor that you need. Then we're going to add in all the veggies that we cut up our onion, one chopped onion, one chopped green pepper, and a sliced lemon. Have all of the ingredients in here and we're just going to let it boil up until it gets into a rolling boil and for the next five, maybe ten minutes so the water can get seasoned really, really well. So make sure you give it some time to all boil together and meld together so it can season up the water. So I would say at no more than 10 minutes, at least five minutes. Water is ready. It's all boiled up. Ooh, I wish you guys can smell it. It smells so good. And the first thing we're gonna put in the potatoes, the sausage, and the corn all together. We're gonna boil that first. And I actually have little mini red potatoes. So this isn't going to take that long to boil. I would say it's probably going to take about 10 minutes to boil. So we're going to throw all that in there together. Okay, and we have all of that in there, the potato, the corn, the sausages, and we're going to let that go back up to a high boil, and we are going to boil it for about 10 minutes. And if you want to make sure your water is seasoned well to your liking, just go ahead and get a little spoon, just a little bit, and give it a taste. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, yeah, that's good. Got, got a good kick to it. And that's just a little tip. And if you feel like it needs more lemon juice or it needs some type of more seasoning, then you just go ahead and do that. Just give it a little taste. That's all it is. And then you'll know if your water is seasoned to your liking. The 10 minutes are up. And... The sausage, potatoes, and corn is all ready. So the only thing we're going to do is just scoop it out and put it in a pan. And I don't know if you guys know or not, but Rory has a seafood allergy. So for those of you who have family members with allergies, but they still might want to enjoy a good shrimp boil or a crab boil, you can do like I did, which is boil all of the extras, the potatoes, the corn first, since we're using a smaller pot, you have to do that anyways that we're doing inside. Boil that first, which is what we did, strain it all out, and then we're going to use the same exact water to boil the shrimp in. And the, sh the water is even more seasoned now. Now we have all of the potatoes, the corn, and the sausage out of the shrimp boil and the water is still boiling. It still has the onions, the green peppers, all of the wonderful seasoning in there. It still has the seasoning bag in there as well. And so we're going to go ahead and get ready to put the shrimp in there. And these shrimp are huge. These are really big jumbo shrimp that we are putting in there and we purchased the shrimp from the Asian market and they were jumbo shrimp with the head on and we did my mom and I um, pop all of the heads off of the shrimp before we put them into the shrimp boil 
if you like you can leave the heads on but we prefer to go ahead and just um, take our heads off before we boil it and then we are going to just stir it around and let the shrimp let it go back up to a high boil again and boil the shrimp for about 10 minutes it's been 10 minutes and the shrimp are ready and oh my goodness just the smell in the house is so amazing and these shrimp look delicious and you can tell that the shrimp are kind of coming away from the shell a little bit that's a sign that they're ready of course they're pink and the part that I am excited about is the fact that you can see the seasoning all throughout the shrimp it's like it's soaked up the seasoning and the juice and oh my goodness it's gonna taste so delicious and now that the shrimp are ready we're just going to go ahead and pull them out And there you have it, a delicious shrimp boil done right in the house on the stove top. And this is perfect for a weekend with just the family or today is a Wednesday for us. So a Wednesday evening dinner shrimp boil. And of course, if you want to do a shrimp boil or a crab boil with a large group of people, you can use the same exact recipe, but just double it. And you can use the same exact seasoning recipe for crabs, shrimp, and crawfish. And I'm telling you, I promise you, it is going to be delicious. This is what life is all about. Sitting in the backyard, relaxing, enjoying family time, having some great delicious food and a cocktail. You guys, you can't go wrong with this. This is life, the good life. So you definitely need to try out this really good, easy, quick shrimp boil recipe that can be done in your home. The shrimp are delicious. Everything's delicious. The sausage, the corn, the potatoes, the shrimp is definitely worth a try. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Foster Family Fun videos. Mm, Thanks good. for watching. Mm, good.